What have these people got in common? Yes, all these people play the game of lawn bowls. For years the game of lawn bowls has been perceived as a game or pastime for retired persons. That is no longer the case. Nowadays the game has attracted the younger generation. There are under 18 and under 25 national championships and an under 25 international team. Lawn bowls is a fun, exciting, serious and enjoyable. The main summer season runs from the beginning of April to the end of September. The winter season runs from October to March. The Winter League is a mixed rinks league where women and men play together. In the 26 counties, the national governing body of lawn bowls is the Bowling League of Ireland, known as the BLI, and the ladies section is called the Ladies Bowling League of Ireland, known as the LBLI. The summer leagues are divided into a men's league run by the BLI and a ladies league run by the LBLI. There are also knockout cup competitions for each division in the men's league and an open knockout cup competition in the LBLI. There are also All-Ireland Cup competitions where teams from the 26 counties play teams from the north of Ireland. In addition to these, there are championship matches in singles, pairs, triples and fours, but more about this later. I just got into the game one day during the summer. My father was taking up the game and I was down here with some of my friends and we got out and had a look at him playing. We decided to go out and play and we just got the bug for it. And once you start playing it, you, you'll, you'll get the bug for it, you won't want to stop. It's a very, very competitive game. It incorporates everybody, no matter what age you are, how big or how small, weight, nothing like that comes into it. It's just down to hand and eye coordination, you know, and generally feel for the game. And the higher up you play, you'll find that. It's a very tactical game. The rules themselves are the same for the different types of game you play, whether it's singles, doubles, triples, or rings is our favourite game. You must uh, have the mat, it must be two metres from the end of the ditch, and it must travel 23 metres before you can play. The basic idea is to get as many of your balls around the jack as possible. So you're looking at the bowl, there's a small ring and a big ring. And the bowl is designed to turn in, right? Okay. And the small side is what's called a bias. So when you're holding your left-handed, yeah. you'll be holding the bowl in this hand. With this pointing in. Uh, on the inside. Cool. And because you're going to play right-handed, you're going to be holding the bowl with a little ring on that side, in towards your body. That's it. That's better. And you watch that. See how it's coming back? Very good. That's better. Very good. Hey! <laughs> Kenilworth is the only club in the 26 counties with two greens. The traditional surface for bowls is a natural grass surface. Of the 30 clubs that are in existence at the moment, 21 are grass greens. In 2005, Kenilworth dug up the oldest green and changed it to an all-weather carpet. The main advantage of artificial is that the game can be played throughout the winter months and there is a winter league run every Saturday morning. The natural life of a carpet is between 15 to 20 years. Nowadays, with the advance in technology, artificial surfaces made of all-weather carpet seem to be the preferred option. The Bowling League of Ireland was formed in 1924 to govern the game of bowls in the Republic. There are three associations up north and one association in the 26 counties. Each year there are inter-association matches for both men and ladies at senior and junior level. This is the first match of the Ladies Senior Inter Association Series and the LBLI are playing a northern team. I started lawn bowls because my parents played 
I was big into other sports like hockey and tennis until I got married and had three children. And then bowling was a much more suitable time because I could choose my own time to play. I had a wonderful 20 years between, say, 1980 and 2000. And I felt it was my payback that I should do something for the association. So I went forward as secretary in 2001, 2002. Richard started playing bowls at an early age and very quickly caught the eye of the international selectors. In 1999, aged just 16 years, he was selected to play on the under-25 international team and was selected every year thereafter until he was no longer eligible. Then he was immediately selected to play on the senior international team. Over the last four or five years, I've probably won about six or seven Irish titles, which gives you a chance to win the British Isles then. And myself and my father and another person from the club now at the end of June will be going over to England to play in the British Isles. Especially if you're playing a competition, it is very competitive. Even if you're playing somebody that's 70, they're as competitive as you are. And it's such a great leveller for anybody because somebody of 70 can beat someone of 20 and someone of 20 can beat someone of 70. Anybody of any age, disability or anything can play it. And I think that's really good, especially for some of the young starting. There's great potential out there to kind of get a few trips away and there's a chance to go away to England, Scotland and Wales and all different places with the Irish team. Certainly the first stage for any promising young bowler is to get picked for their inter association under 25 team. And from that, if they continue to show their abilities, uh, they will get selected for the under 25 international team. That really is a big step in stone for players of that age group. It gets them recognised by the International Selection Committee and from that they can then progress on to the senior team. So it is a continuous process. It's a big goal in any young bowler's career to get playing for the under-25 international team. Mark Colooney. I started playing bowls when I was 15, it was about eight years ago, and I just started watching the telly and heard about a local club and joined it from there. So I won the uh, British Isles Short Match Championships in 2006, won a couple of league medals and various other tournaments throughout the year. And yeah, it's one of the few sports that age doesn't really seem to matter from a 20 year old to a 70 year old, you know, everybody, it's, it's not really that much of a strenuous game, so it's, it's all within people can play at any age level to and still beat the opposing person, even though there could be 50 years of a difference between them. Like, so it's not many sports that are like that, and it's, it's good for young people and older people that they can stay being competitive in their lives, whatever age. So. Social-wise, it's, it's a big part of the game, and uh, we do believe in keeping that tradition, if you like, alive within the game of bowls, although it is becoming more competitive. As, as younger people come into the game and, and there's more competition and a bit of pride when they come into the game, you do see that competition increasing. But nonetheless, even at the very, very top level, uh, there's still that social aspect to the game. But the more successful you get at it, the more time is kind of spent towards playing bowls. But I, I find that I've successfully done both with the family and the bowls. As I said, it's a very enjoyable game and a lot more people should play it. I've had a brilliant time. A really a time that I wouldn't have had in another sport. I would never have been able to have a family and teach and, and also get to the, the high level of, of the sport that I got to in any other sport. Although I did commit a fair bit of time to bowling, it paid me back in spades. I had some great trips, highly competitive games, and I've got to say I enjoyed every single minute of it.